broadcasting is something I'm, I enjoy doing, uh, something which I'm quite keen on doing when I, when I finish playing. Um, but I guess first and foremost, a huge chance to the club and in particularly Stuart Hooper for allowing me to go. Uh, the club are very supportive of their players um, in their endeavours away from the field. Um, and certainly that's, that's one thing is, that has impressed upon me since being here, is how hard the lads uh, work off the field and furthering their, their potential away from the game. Oh, it's very special. The, you know, the Rugby World Cup is the, is the pinnacle. Um, it's the pinnacle tournament, um, certainly of, in international rugby, and what, and what level you want to play in and stage you want to play at. And uh, you know, I've been very fortunate to play in, in two World Cups. Came pretty close, <laughs> playing the semi-final and quarter-final with Wales. And um, I really hope the, the Welsh team of this year can go all the way. Uh, but the World Cup, it's out in Japan. A lot of players um, across the world wouldn't have been to Japan, let alone play there. Um, and so that's going to be a test, you know, having looked at fixtures over the last uh, few months, certainly the warm-up games, home advantage has, has been quite a significant factor uh, for teams and that goes out the window when, you, when you're playing one in a foreign country and, and two in a country like Japan where the, where the temperature and humidity is very different. So it's a, it's a very wide open tournament, um, but, I, but as a player, you know, while I reflect on those times, it's it's such an exciting time. Uh, you do the training camps. It's quite a long journey from where you first meet up and and you train and prepare for it, and, and it comes around uh, comes around pretty quick. And you're into it. You have a real feel that it's a World Cup. You walk the streets. You meet fans uh, of all different countries. And um, as I said, as a player, some of the greatest times in, in your career. Look, they're, they're a team that want to play with pace. Uh, England, they're a team they've picked on form. You know, lads like Willie Hines, Lewis Ludlam, these guys have had great Premiership seasons last year and have made their debuts in recent weeks in the warm-up game. So, you know, he, he wants to play with pace. Um, you know, they're going to have a very efficient kicking game. Uh, kick to regather. You look at their back three players and how good they are in the air, especially lads like Joe and. Uh, Johnny May and Rory McConaughey as well, these, these guys, Anthony Watson, are very good in the air and so I think that's going to be a big tactic of England. And then just their, their ball carriers, uh, the Vuna Polo brothers, when they're on form, are, um, are some of the best ball carriers in world rugby, let alone European rugby. So, you know, their game will revolve around those lads and, and lads like Farron and Ford pulling the strings behind. You know, Wales, England, Ireland, and France, yeah, I think we'll have a good opportunity, uh, and I'll be there or thereabouts. Um, again, don't write off Scotland. You know they came close in in, uh, in 2015, um, and then on the, all the Southern Hemisphere sides. You know, again, they always peak for World Cups. They find a way of peaking for World Cups, and uh, you know it's great to see Australia and Wales's group, and that's going to be a huge game. Looking forward to being there for that one. The benchmark side at the minute, the All Blacks. Um, and a lot of them would have experienced playing in Japan as well. So uh, it's going to be a fantastic World Cup, very kind of wide open, really. Um, and I'm sure we'll see uh, we'll see some upsets in the group stages. Yeah, pre-season's been pretty tough. It's been pretty long, and uh, you know I look forward to going out to Japan and coming back with with three weeks uh, raring to go and prep, get ready for that first Premiership game, third weekend of October. So. Um, it fits in quite nicely with our, with our pre-season schedule. So, again, thanks to Hoops and the club for letting me go. And you know, massive, massive once-in-a-lifetime opportunities to go out there and be a big part.